Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Lynn, for those of you new. I am excited to bring this video to you guys today. It is going to be a get it all done style video, as you can tell. Uh, I filmed this over several days time. I'm keeping it real with you guys. I don't get everything done in one day or even in the same week. Um, but <laughs> I hope this video can give you guys motivation and encouragement. I'm glad you're here. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I would love that. I'm going to be doing a little decorating, possibly some organizing, and also a little bit of cooking or baking. So I hope that can kind of, you know, cover a variety of different subjects you might enjoy. I'm also going to be doing a little DIY, something that I've done before, but I am excited to do again. So stay tuned, and I'm gonna get into some decorating first. See, uh, Jackson is here with me. <laughs> I don't know if he's gonna be doing anything today or not, but. In any case, I'm gonna start with decorating first and then go from there. So here in the family room, there's nothing terribly exciting, but I <laughs> wasn't able to find pillows that I really liked as of yet. So I do have uh, some green pillow covers from Ikea that I think I'm just going to use in here for now. So it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, this coffee table here is very simple. Oakland is at, you know, the grabby stage. So I just have a faux plant here and you can see there's lots of a uh, marker marks on here <laughs> mostly Jackson when he's drawing he'll use you know a couple sheets of paper but sometimes stuff leaks through so I should probably resand it and give it another coat got my snake plant here in the back and this black chair I've had sitting here for a while kind of blends in but it's nice just to have a little bit of extra seating in here and the laundry room is uh, subject to change, but I have a new pothos that I just bought. I may have to move it outside some to give it more light, but I have the same print up there I had before, uh, like last spring when I got it, it was from Decenio. And then there's one of my painted vases, the ones that I am doing the same thing with today pretty much. And then that's also Decenio, and I have my jars of different things here and one over there. So that's what we've got going on on this side. Those baskets up there are from Target. And then the other side is always full of stuff. Right now it's pretty empty. So you can thank me for that. <laughs> you don't have to look at all the clutter, but uh, I have a print here that was from Hobby Lobby. I did paint the frame on that. And then I've just got my hooks and those are not available anymore as far as I can tell, unfortunately. Then we had made this floating bench here and then the baskets are from Target as well.
I have a partially finished bathroom. <laughs> I think I'm probably gonna put something else here, but I just haven't found what I want. And the shelves are so-so for right now. Um, this bathroom obviously doesn't have any natural light, so I don't wanna have to bother with uh, real plants because it's upstairs, I don't see it, um, that kind of thing. So for now, I'm gonna leave it like this and then I can kind of figure out what I want in here otherwise. I really love this rug. It is a Lavoie rug. It's awesome. The leaves of my plants get kind of dirty if they're outside especially. And I had these outside for a little while. So I'm just going around and wiping. project I'm gonna work on. I thrifted these here a little bit ago and I'm gonna give them a makeover. So I liked the shape of these and I've done this before except this time I'm gonna be using baking soda. So essentially it's gonna make them look kind of like a piece of pottery or I don't know it's just it makes them look really cool and you could do I guess whatever color you want even some like neutrals uh, would look nice too. I may lighten some of these up, um, tweak the color a little bit, but these are the bases I got. I just have some cheap little 99 cent brushes and I'm gonna get started. I feel like the back one is maybe a tad too red. So I might do like a second coat of something else. It's a little bit more pink in real life. So I'll see once. What do you think about my vases back here? Not awesome. What? Not awesome. Mm -mm. That is so mean. No, but I want a blue. Blue. <laughs> and red. Huh. And green. Well, there's one that kind of looks a little red back there. Mm -hmm. I painted another one one of my subscribers on YouTube gave. And so I painted that one. And this one I decided to do like in a lighter color. I do wish it were a little bit more tan. Maybe more like this pottery bowl here. But I just kind of mixed in a couple things. So what we'll is, see. What is this? That's baking soda. That's what I used to put in the paint. Boop. That one's still wet. Way to go, Lynette. Some of them are still drying, and then there's a couple that are like, well, this one, I guess, is only had one coat. I really actually need to give it another coat now that I'm looking at it. But it's like, you can hear it's rough. This 
So last fall I had organized this closet somewhat, but things have changed a little bit as far as what I'm going to be putting in here I feel like and I'm gonna need to just reevaluate. I actually picked up some bins at Ikea. These are the first ones that I've bought from them like in this kind. This is a really wide bin. I would say it is probably 18, maybe 18 inches um, wide and so I got two of those and then I have some more of the smaller ones and two of these will fit on top of these two so I'm thinking I want to do that instead of I had used some of these on the shelves before they're from Target but I I need to use my space a little bit better so I'm gonna kind of reevaluate go through some things so I am gonna get started declutter if I can and kind of see what I can come up with couldn't have fit any better than this my goodness I have two more like this that will go here so I've got to figure out what I want to put in those uh, I do have some linens I have things for like my YouTube stuff I have my sewing supplies just some random things I I do have my suitcases up there on the top shelf some of my smaller carry-on ones and I don't really like having them there although it is a really good use of space because of having like the extra up in there. So I think I'll probably leave those. overview of the closet. I do still need labels. I have not yet gotten any and I need to find some but I decided I'm gonna show you guys anyway and while it's not picture perfect it is working. I do have luggage up on the top shelf and then this shelf is business related things like folders, camera equipment, Nick's briefcase. This is like extra decor, um, macrame, hangers type of stuff. And then the second shelf is mostly linens. Uh, I have like bedding. This one is extra pillowcases, table runners or table related things, as well as in this one, I believe. And then this one has some craft supplies. I really don't have a lot, but I've got a couple things there. And then another one behind that one, but that one's empty actually. So. I needed to put my iron somewhere and this is where it is for right now. This one has our travel cosmetic bags. In this shelf we have photo albums in the basket and I have my sewing supplies all in this big white one here as well as my sewing machine and serger. And then on the bottom I've got the suitcase. This is like a really big one. And then I have a basket. This picture I just keep up here. Someone sent it to me and I occasionally will use it for um, plants and whatnot. Then in the back there's a little fan. You can't really see that but we did paint this closet last fall. We painted it olive the same color as our walls on the opposite side of the room. So I suppose I should back up a little bit and give you a better view of it but it's kind of dark over there so I apologize for that. Anyway there's the closet. Hope you guys enjoyed the process and maybe it'll give you some ideas and even if stuff doesn't always look 
picture perfect functionality is really important to me and I feel like these bins are gonna last a long time and I can use them in a lot of different places. I'm making some taco soup in the crock pot and I do this quite frequently. It's, it's probably one of my go-to meals, I would say. Uh, maybe not so much in the summer, but in the winter, it's so easy. You literally just throw everything in a crock pot and it's done and you can't really mess it up. I mean, you can put in whatever you feel like, but I'll show you some of the things that I'm putting in. I did want to mention, you're going to see some of Walnut Creek Foods products again. I use these a lot. And in case you're not familiar with them, they are based in Holmes County, Amish country. And they have a manufacturing plant there where they try to make as many of their own products as they can. But then they also have uh, like bulk food stores. So they have two stores up there, one in Berlin and one in Walnut Creek. I've been to both and I've showed you guys before, but uh, they have stuff that they ship out to lots of different stores across the United States. Um, they have several down here that carry a lot of their products and I can fully stand behind their products. I love them. I grew up buying them. I always like to talk to you about them in case you haven't heard of them. They have a lot of deli products like meat and cheese and also canned goods. They have lots of other things as well. You can order directly from their website, walnutcreekcheese.com, which is linked in the description box below. And I also want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. I really enjoy working with them and I've heard a lot of you guys tell me, just the other day I got a picture from someone here, I think south of us maybe, that she found them in a little store and it's just fun to hear that, you know, all of a sudden you are seeing these products maybe you wouldn't have noticed before. So. Great quality products, be sure to check them out. I'm gonna be using some of their products in my soup this morning, and I just always like to make you guys aware of them. Okay, I got my soup started, and I'm going to be making some pretzel buns, and this is out of Hope's Table. I think I've mentioned her before here on YouTube, but she's a Mennonite lady, lives in Virginia, and she has some amazing recipes in here and I would definitely recommend you go check it out. Um, she has a website, I believe. I'll link it down below, this book. I think I can actually get it on Amazon, so I'll link that. And I'm gonna try something new. It's these um, pretzel buns, and I am not really a dough person at all, but I've had them numerous times made by other people here, like in church, and they're so good, and I just kinda wanna try them. So I'm gonna give it a go, and we'll see how they turn out. the dough rise longer than what she said because I thought it seemed like really firm. One thing I did different is I didn't use unbleached flour which she calls for in a lot of her recipes. I just didn't have it so I said I'll try it. I don't know if it's going to make a huge difference or not but we'll find out. <laughs> Okay, so all you bakers don't laugh at me. I almost didn't share this, but I decided, you know what? <laughs> My stuff does not go perfectly, and I'm pretty sure it's the flour. I know how they're supposed to look, uh, and these seem a little bit more like cracked and solid than the ones I've had. 
and if I'm thinking if I would use unbleached flour that would probably make a lot of difference so they taste pretty good they're still like hot you're supposed to serve them fresh and they taste good but they're definitely not like the light fluffy melt in your mouth like normal I'm glad I at least gave it a try and I'm probably gonna try again she calls for pretzel salt is kosher like coarse kosher salt the same thing I mean it tastes the same I think although maybe the the pieces aren't quite as big but maybe you guys could tell me okay so the taco soup has been simmering all day and I just had it on low and I am gonna just kind of like shred the chicken in there you could also do beef in here if you'd have hamburger I saw Hope's Table had a really good recipe, it looked like. Um, it's actually where it gave me the idea to do this one, uh, except I usually make this all the time, so it's not like it's new, but it sort of like inspired me to make it tonight. So, but hers had hamburger in it. I actually need to add a little bit more broth to it because it's not very runny. And then I just usually add some different things that I think are good in it. There's a little bit of half and half. Kind of make it creamy. A little bit of sour cream. I usually use like tortilla chips or even those tortilla strips are really good. I just don't have any. But I have these and I'm thinking of trying them. They're the corn, chili cheese corn chips. And that's it. It's super easy and it's comfort food. All right guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video today. I hope it gave you motivation and encouragement in some way. And also make sure to check out the link for Walnut Creek Cheese in the description box. And I think I will leave it at that. I hope you all have a very blessed week and stay strong, fight the good fight of faith, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.